Hi everybody, happy Sunday. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a big basketball mixer featuring two boxes of Donner's Optic Basketball Retail Edition and then 18 boxes of 2020-2021 Panini Mosaic Basketball Mega Box. You can see Mega on the front right here. So on the card that you see in the screen right here, you've got one, two, three, four, five. So five, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. 1920. So those are the boxes right there. Um, one spot gets you two teams, no vet common ships. Um, each box contains 10 mega box exclusive prisms, so there's a lot of exclusive numbered cards, fluorescent cards, and stuff to look forward to. Big thanks to this group here for making it happen. Let's double you up. Oh, double up. Oh, oh. Like Sir Mix a lot. And there are all the teams right there. Let's roll it. Let's randomize names and teams four and a five nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and once more. Five and a four, four and a five, ninth and final time. After nine, we've got Greg all the way down to John. Four and a five, nine times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. We got the Orlando Magic all the way down to the San Antonio Spurs. All right, so Greg with the Orlando Magic. Kevin with the Kings, Steve with the Warriors, Bennett with the Bucks, Josh with the Heat, Steven with the Pacers, Bennett with the Thunder, Steve Birch with the Clip Show, Han with the Sixers, Mike with the Nets, Brian with the Timberwolves and Hawks, John with the Suns, Brian with the Bulls, Josh with the Rockets, Corey with the Pelicans, Brian with the Jazz, Josh with the Wizards, Dean with the Detroit Pistons and the Denver Nuggets, Josh with the Grizz, Brian with my Lakers, Brian W. with the Knicks, Han with the Celtics, Stephen Flat with the Raptors, Kevin with the Mavs, Corey with the Hornets, nice, Greg with the Cavs, Mike with the Trailblazers, and John with the San Antonio Spurs. We're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we will uh, we'll get into this break, jazpiececasebreaks.com. Bye-bye. Not bye-bye. Be right back. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. No deals were done, so that list right there that you saw on the previous screen remains the same. A little bit of trade chatter, but ultimately, no deals. That's all good, though. So it looks like Steve Birch ended up with the last spot mojo. Remember, it's double. One spot gets you two teams, so those are last spot mojo teams. And people won uh, spots in that mosaic pack as well. So good luck, everybody. So we'll do these retail boxes first, and then we'll work through all those, all those uh, mega boxes. And there's Luka Doncic on the front, and he's playing right now. Dallas playing for their playoff lives essentially. They don't want to go down. They don't know want they don't want to go down three nothing in the series to the Warriors. Warriors are up right now 89-81. About seven or so minutes left in the fourth quarter. So we're, we're getting to the end. Ninety to eighty three now. Who are we booing, Logan? Both te both teams? Oh, booing Luca.
what happened. <clears throat> Ooh. Kind of went through Luka Doncic. Put the dunk down. Obi Toppin, some Kyle Lowry, Yusuf Nurkic. Those purple parallels not numbered, but I think they are exclusive to this retail set. My House Westbrook. And LaMelo Ball. Rated rookie card. First of many Lamellos, I hope, for Corey and the Hornets. Hopefully, some parallels. Donovan Mitchell. Trey Young. Nice good Coro. Luka Doncic. Like Cole Anthony had a pretty solid season this year. And his, I guess, this would be his rookie year. His second year just finished up. Second box. Sorry, we just passed by that Josh Green rated rookie card. I was checking the box score to see if he had uh, if he's been playing, but no, he has not entered the game. Warriors up by ten. Who thinks uh, the Mavs can pull this off? Luka Doncic has twenty eight points, eight rebounds, a couple assists. Jalen Brunson has eighteen points, four rebounds, and a couple assists, but. Uh, Spencer Dinwiddie has 23 points, a couple rebounds, and an assist, but they're not getting too much from anybody else. Only 9 points in 36 minutes for Dorian Finney-Smith. 0 points out of Reggie Bullock in 33 minutes. Got to get a little more help than that. Ma Maxi Kleba, 0 for 5 from 3, 0 points in 25 minutes. He's got to sink some of those buckets. Bertans only has two points, so we got three players doing well, and then not really getting anything from anybody else. Wiggins has 20 points. Seth, uh, Steph Curry has 29 points, 10 assists. Clay Thompson has 19 points. I guess they're not really getting too much offensive production from anybody else, but. Their plus minuses are a lot better, so they're they got they got a little more a little more defense on their side. Logan says Mavs, no chance. You think this is just a clean sweep? Warriors go up three and zero tonight. We close it out in game four.
James, man, this could be a this could be a a hold. It's for the Warriors, Steve Birch, Tyrese Halliburton, Kings Edition, going to Kevin. It's sort of a, you can kind of see, I don't know what that is. Maybe that can be cleaned off. It almost looks like maybe some of the material or the glue or something like that. Something, or it's almost like water spots had dried on there, but I know it can't be water. But a couple of cards had that sort of issue, so just be aware of that if you get a card that feels like that. Most of them feel fine, but... Just noticed a few in that pack. That was a little weird. Yeah, just hear those numbers in the background. That'll, that'll make the difference. Logan saying, like Luna coin, Luca is done. All right, mega box time. So here's our first three right here. More Luke on the on the front of the box. Crazy is how crazy is that? I guess it's not that crazy. These alleged stable coins that are that went down. I don't know. Never really messed around with a lot of the. I mean, I'm just in Bitcoin a little bit. Nothing significant, and uh, and a little Ethereum which I think are the two biggest ones, and that's about it. I'm not really messing around with anything else. All right, next box. What are, are these our exclusives here? That must be, right? Silver Prism Mega Box Exclusive. Yeah, Reactive Blue. These are the reactive blue, so obviously these are inserts, so they will ship. Now, if we can find some reactive blue in some of the top rookies of this year, that'd be nice. Sham it, and then there's that. That's just a regular mosaic parallel. The reactive kind of has that sort of pow feel to it. Yeah, Luna was supposed to be a stable coin, right? What happened there? Not stable anymore, as we, as we quickly found out. These guys, these two have surely raised their stock. With their run in the playoffs, there's Xavier Tillman for the Grizzlies. Tyrese Maxey, Grizzlies is going to Josh. Han with the Sixers. Tyrese Maxey played really well. Ooh, nice. See, that's what I'm talking about. NBA debut insert. Mosaic parallel. Blue refract, blue reactive, reactive blue. What are they calling him? Reactive blue. Anthony Edwards. Let's just spit all that out. Brian Watford with the T Wolves. There you go, Brian. Looks really cool. I do remember Gio. Yeah. 
think that was back when they called it Prism Mosaic, right? And all the cards were the Mosaic parallel. I think once be Mosaic became its own thing, then it, and the, then they made the uh, regular base cards, and then they, and the parallels become a little more unique now. So there's a Lamello right up top. That's for Corey and the Hornets. People must have liked them, Gilo, because because they ended up getting their uh, like we see here. They ended up getting their own card, their own set. I think that's sometimes just part of the evolution of the card too. You should see what like 2013 like Spectra basketball looks like. Or Spectra football versus what it looks like today. Big difference. Yeah, they all used to have this parallel. It was every card. Green not numbered. And we got NBA debut, Tyrese Halliburton, blue reactive. And there's Lakers edition of KCP and Kawhi Leonard. That's a refractor that will ship. It's a silver, mosaic silver. Also, I guess there's pink fluorescent. Those must be shorter printed. That's true, yeah. Spectra has even changed in the last couple of years, so you like it better now, see? Progress. Gilo, what do you think? Rex has a mosaic reactive green Clyde Edwards Elaire PSA 10. And is that something to keep holding? Gilo's a Chiefs fan. I don't know. Running backs to me are kind of tricky. I think they're the average running back's career seems to be so much shorter, or their their height of their production seems to be a much smaller window than a lot of other position players, quarterbacks, and wide receivers that. The running back market isn't super strong until, you know, until they they show that they can stick around the league for a while. Hmm. Gilo says hold. He's, he's had some freak entries. Still has a high chance for, for a ring. He's the Anthony Davis of the... Yeah. Ooh, nice LaMelo ball. NBA debut. Reactive blue. Nice. That's for Corey and Charlotte.
We've got a National Pride LaMelo ball as well. Got an NBA debut base, Anthony Edwards for Minnesota. Brian. Nate, what's going on? How are you? Another five boxes. Nate, yes, that box of Prism first offline basketball off one off the wax bar. That's a pretty nice box. Oh, you got it already. And you got a LeBron James Kobe Dunk Tribute Blue Shimmer to 35. Wow. That's really nice. I remember when just the base version of those. I'm glad you opened it. Um, I remember when the, just the base version of those would cost would, would go for like a hundred bucks. Um, what does that go for? Have you looked it up? What does that go for a raw? It's a really it's a really low number. So yeah, for what it's worth, Rex. Gilo's still sitting on a ton of Clyde Edwards Elaire cards. Wow, only one on eBay. PSA nine asking twelve thousand five hundred dollars. No, none raw. Got it. I'm not sure if you're familiar with this website, 130point.com. I don't know if you've already been using that, but that's that's a good resource too if you haven't used that already for past sales, but they may only go back as far as, as far as eBay. Yeah, Nate did get his box pretty quick. HBO Tiger Woods documentary. <laughs> I'm trying to be a golf expert now. Yeah, Gilo's getting into the golf, ladies and gentlemen. It all started with a conversation about maybe last week about PGA 2K, which I enjoy, which I played a lot over the weekend. And uh, Corey with Charlotte, by the way, another Lamello. And then now, now he got it. He's been playing it. Now he's thinking about getting clubs to just. You know, just to goof around, which I, which which I'm gonna do later this summer. Uh, I I remember I don't I think it came out uh, last summer. Did it come out last summer or two summers ago? I think it was last summer. But uh, I remember watching it, and I remember thinking it was good. For some reason, I don't I don't remember much of it. I think there's a, there's a lot I've watched since then. Maybe maybe I'm due for a rewatch.
Um, you want golf cards too? I think on the personal breaks channel at Jaspie's Breaks Instagram Live at Jaspie's Breaks, we have some personal boxes. I think there's some Upper Deck SP Authentic golf. boxes at a time that might help it go just a tiny bit faster and if you're re-watching this video you can I'll do a recap at the end but if you're re-watching you can fast forward through the uh, scrub through the parts where I'm just opening packs Greg is the list of who has what team available anywhere yes I have it you have the Cleveland Cavaliers randomized to you and the Orlando Magic That's what I have for you right here. Cavs and Magic. And you'll be able to see the randomizer once I finish this video and upload it. You're welcome, Greg. Good luck. Uh, I think we saw a Cole Anthony rookie card, um, but nothing too nothing too significant after that. I'm sure there were some, some Cavs rookies that are going to be going your way as well. But uh, no, no, like parallels yet. I think these are mega boxes, so I don't think we're gonna hold our breath for uh, for autos. But we haven't seen those yet either. So it's like a little too much air underneath here. I think we might just have to go through these before they all slide around. Yeah, it looks like Golden State taking a three nothing lead on the on the uh, Dallas Mavericks. Rex found a Rex found a blue cracked ice LeBron Kobe dunk tribute at a one twenty five sold for. 1080 was that graded or not graded I'm assuming not graded so yeah by Rex's estimation it's got to be over 10 right I think it's certainly at this point may be worth worth getting it graded Tyrese Halliburton, National Pride, Blue Reactive, NBA debut Cole Anthony. That was raw, okay. Did the Oilers win? Oilers need to win it all. Rex. Just advancing in the playoffs. I think the Oilers, Oilers fan standards are a little bit higher than that. In order for your McDavid to see some significant appreciation. Tyrese Halber, another blue reactive. So you got a couple of those now, Kevin and the Kings. Rex won a McDavid from us a, while, a little while back. In case you're wondering, does Rex suddenly care about hockey? No, he only cares because. He's got a Connor McDavid card that he wants to see go up in value.
But sometimes that's what the hobby can do. You may you may stumble into following something, following a sport because all of a sudden you've got you've got a stake in it because of the hobby. You know, every once in a while, especially if you're on a cold streak, every once in a while, I'll tell people, hey, just buy into a sport that you would normally never buy into. And you just kind of go into it blind, you know, without any expectations. And then you'll be surprised when someone tells you, oh, you got randomized a good team. You know, or you got randomized, you know, you ended up with a great card or something like that. Yeah, John McCall tell you McDavid's pretty good. Uh, well, well, in recent memory, Rex, in recent memory, the Oilers traditionally been a really good, really good team. You know they have they have five Stanley Cups. I think I'm just looked it up on Wikipedia. They got five Stanley Cups to their uh, to their credit. Ah, dang, sorry, Did not reload on top loaders. But yeah, but last time they they won it all was was the 89-90 season. Last time they went to a Stanley Cup to win, so the last time they won a conference championship was 05-06, according to Wikipedia. But yeah, yeah, since they, since they've had McDavid, yeah, they they this might be the I think this might be someone will correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this might have been the first. You know, they hadn't gotten out of the first round for a couple seasons. You know, especially with McDavid. All right, there's Anthony Edwards, National Pl Pride, Blue. I'll try to put Pride and Blue together. Pride? <laughs> National Pride, Blue, Reactive. Brian Watford with the T-Wolves. And there's a LaMelo ball for Corey and Charlotte. Jeff T, that looks like a Genesis parallel, which is a super short print. That's for the Bucks. That's going to go to Bennett, right? Kind of has like the the black sort of oil swirls, oil slick sl uh, swirls in the background. I think that might be a Genesis parallel. Nice. I think there's in these sets. All right, another box, and we got ten more boxes to go. So, well, the Warriors are up three nothing. 
Who are they going to face in the NBA Finals? Miami leads the series over Boston 2-1. to one. Actually, that's, I feel like that's been a really good series. Unless if the Maverick stays like, you know, an insane comeback. I don't know if they're going to beat the Warriors four games in a row, though. Nice Tyrese Maxey. Blue Reactive. Han with the Sixers. If, if Joel Embiid hadn't gotten elbowed in the eye, I think, that, that orbital issue, and maybe was healthy the first two games, you know, that would have changed the, the scope of the entire series. My guess is yes. Another base lamello for Corey and Charlotte. There is an elevate. This guy can certainly elevate Anthony Edwards. Ryan and the Timberwolves. Another five boxes. Who does everyone have in that heat game tomorrow? According to the ESPN Basketball Power Index, they're saying that they've got Boston winning this 67.4% of the time, for whatever that's worth. It's Miami, 32.6% of the time. I think by both teams, do both teams have some injuries? Yeah. I think PJ Tucker's day to day. Put in some good minutes last game. Tyler Hero, day to day. They're needing him. Kyle Lowry, day to day. Marcus Smart, day to day. Robert Williams, day to day. Jason Tatum, day to day. I'm surely those those players will play, but you know, at, at this stage, everyone's a little dinged up, right? But Trivia, how many NBA teams come back to win from an 0-3 deficit in the 75-year history? I want to say zero. Zero? I want to say there's been some 1-3 comebacks. But I don't think zeros. I don't think a comeback from 0-3. Rex says bingo, I got it. 
yeah, 0, 0, 3 it's, it's really tough, especially in the playoffs. One three has happened once or twice. I think one of LeBron's Cavs teams was down one three and then beat the Warriors. I feel like there was a one other time that I should I should remember, but I'm just not at the moment. Baseball? Has that happened in baseball at all? Or hockey? Those are the those are the big main sports with with um, seven game series like that. The Red Sox came back on the Yankees, but I think that was all. They were also down one three. I want to say. Was the Red Sox Yanks 0 3? They, were they down 0 and 3? That's the only time, right? There's LaMelo again. Did the Royals pull off a 1-3 a deficit or an 0-3 deficit? Here is Patrick Williams' NBA debut, Blue Reactive. He's injured for a good chunk of the season, but made his way back, got some playoff minutes. And there's the pink, Jarrett Culver, five out of 10, the pink reactive, pink fluorescent prism, that is. And these are fewer and far between, but that Jarrett Culver going to Brian, Minnesota. So Red Sox was the only 0-3 deficit. Right, Cubs did pull off that the one three deficit. Nice jam masters. And nice, a blue reactive the national pride LaMelo ball. And the rare autograph right here, Sean McDermott, Rookie Scripps. Autographs aren't too common in these mega boxes, but they can exist. They could exist. They do exist because we saw one right here, Josh with the Grizzlies. It's a gold parallel, but it looks like not numbered. Pretty sharp, though. Ah, Royals did came back from a 1-3 deficit in 1985. Next box. Was that a what what series was that? Was that World Series? Was that a uh, ALCS? I guess back in the eighties, did they only do two? I think they only did. You went straight to the if you won your 
I think back then it was just AL East, AL West. AL East, AL West, NL East, NL West. The East and the West, the winners of those divisions, I'm pretty sure would just go straight to a CS, right? A championship series? And then the Winter World Series? the Royals play. I think in 84, the Tigers won it all, right? In 85? Is this, this is a Royals win maybe in 85? Huh. Who did they play? Did they play the Cardinals maybe? The Cardinals. Oh, Rex, sorry, Rex was saying, if I remember correctly, in 2016, no game was won at home for either team. That's interesting. All right, another couple boxes. Good luck. We got an NBA due. Debut, not dude, debut, blue, reactive Obi Toppin. Another Lamello. That Obi Toppin goes to the Knicks, Brian with the Knicks. Hopefully the Knicks can kind of regroup. They looked great a year ago when they went to the playoffs. And this year, this, this season, they were a little flat didn't make the playoffs. Maybe next year they do make the playoffs? Another Anthony Edwards. Tyrese Halliburton for the Kings, Kevin. I like these uh, second year John Morant blue reactive. It's pretty nice, playing my Lakers. Edwards. Another Lamello. This break looking like it's going to be a little bit longer than I thought, so 
Just keep that schedule in mind and just kind of add maybe another 15, 30 minutes to the times after this mixer. I used to know all these. So I uh, looks like this card got got caught in the machine. So sorry about that, Atlanta, Brian. I'm sure there I'm sure there's been others though. Uh, let's do one more. We'll go two at a time. Uh, I don't remember who won in '86. Was it the Twins or was that in '87? The, did the Yankees win in 1980? I think the Dodgers won in 81. I don't remember who won 82. 83, I forget as well. 84 Tigers, I want to say. 85 was Gilo's Royals. 86, right, the Mets. The Cardinals won in there somewhere, I want to say, in the early 80s. They had to have. Phillies beat the Royals in 81. Tim, what's up? Tim, I'll, I'll, I'll say it before you do. I know you're trimming. You're trimming all the time. You love the Dodgers. The only card you have with a Dodger on it is the Kershaw Tim Lincecum card. You love Tim Lincecum. Um, blah, 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 blah. So let's get all that out of the way first. Ooh, nice Anthony Edwards blue reactive. Not a parallel or anything, just his, his rookie card. Nice. Timberwolves. Brian. It's for the spot that he got straight up, too. Got randomized Minnesota.
Here's another Genesis. Boban, Arjanovic. That's going to be for Kevin and Dallas. Gilo watch a video of the Royals win 85. People just freely running onto the field. Yeah, that doesn't happen as often anymore. Yeah, no, no, no one, no one wants, no one wants a, no one wants a play-by-play, -play, especially for teams we don't care about. In a regular season game in the middle, in in the middle of May. There's a uh, Cole Anthony NBA debut, blue reactive. That's gonna be for Greg and the Orlando Magic. Yeah, you know, Tim, we don't need play-by-plays. Thank you. We'll ask you if we want an update. <laughs> Matt Wood saying Cardinals over Brewers in 82 and had it stolen in 85 to the Royals and lost to the Twins in 87. Now, there was a time when the Cardinals were in there all the time. Those were, uh, were those Pedro Guerrero teams? I mean, there are other guys there too. Ozzie Smith, Pedro Guerrero. There had to be others. Others that I just don't remember. Oh, Guerrero was the bad years. I think the Twins won it again in the early '90s too, right? So they they had a. Had a good stretch there. Then I think the Blue Jays won a couple years in a row, I want to say. Right, right, right. That was the Ozzie Smith, Willie McGee, Terry Pendleton, Jack Clark, Vince Coleman team. Yeah, that's pretty good. Right, Twins bested the Tigers in 91. Reds won one there too, right? I think that was the Jose Rio team in 1990. I want to say the Reds one. I think that was uh, Jose Rio must have won a Cy Young that year. He like then he just torched everybody in the playoffs. The playoffs were a little a uh, little shorter back then. Am I remembering that correctly? It was just. NL East and NL West, and then it was AL East and AL West. Those two division winners, East and West, would then play the CSs and then directly to the World Series. Yeah, Matt, Matt's like, yeah. So, so it did give time for like dominant pitchers to really dominate through the, through the playoffs as well. But then now, now there's extra rounds and wild card rounds and all that sort of stuff. So got a little more difficult these days. Thank you. 
And then, yeah, Blue Jays, 92, 93. Then Baseball, S the Bed, 94. Braves in 95? Yeah. That 94 season, there's a lot of what ifs. Expos were great in 94. They may, if it wasn't for the strike, they might not even, they, it's a chance they may not even moved from Montreal. They might have been there, still there. That might have saved that team. Yeah, are they doing one game wild cards now? I, I don't know. I, they, they redid the playoff format again, so. I have to re-familiarize myself now. I think there's like two extra teams I can get into the playoffs now. Which allegedly may help with tanking, so we'll see. Yeah, Braves were dominant in the mid to late 90s. They definitely had uh, an incredible pitching staff, some great hitting. You know, the only shame is they didn't, didn't win more World Series-wise. Right? They just ended up with the one. One is great. I think the expectations were, were a little bit higher than that. All right. Next box. Next to last two boxes we made. It's, we had two, uh, two Donner Softic retail boxes early on, then the 18 mega boxes. So we're down to the 20 boxes total, we're down to box 19 and 20. Yeah, that Maddox Glavin Smoltz rotation has to be one of the top five rotations of all time. And even like the there were there were some there were even guys like Steve Avery, I think, in the in the in the 90s that still had some nice seasons towards the back end of that rotation as well. So Yeah, I mean they've gotta have of all time, probably. I mean, three Hall of Fame pitchers in their prime. All in the same rotation at the same time. Yeah, he did. Steve Avery did look like he was going to be good, but fell off a little bit. But still contributed to those, to that rotation.
All right, last two boxes. Good luck, basketball fans. These longer breaks, we will slip into a little, uh, little other sport talk. Tends to happen. But keep joining us for more hoops. And looks like that last absolute filler has sold out. So we'll get uh, we'll go through some orders after this, and we'll get some uh, we'll get all that added to the schedule. We'll see exactly where that lands. Mike Tower says Steve Avery was a 1991 NL Playoff MVP? Is there a Playoff MVP award? I know they have the, the CS awards and a World Series MVP. I've never heard of a Playoff MVP, but maybe they called it something different in the early 90s, the wild, the wild 90s. All right, and that's that. Thanks, everybody. Um, it's a re mega box and retail, so we're looking for mostly these guys. We found some. We did get an autograph out of here. We did find a pink parallel in the Jarrett Culver. A lot of Lamellos, a lot of some Tyrese Maxey blue reactive was pretty cool. Mostly Anthony Edwards Lamello balls were what we were looking for. We had some other nice parallels here too, or some other key rookies that we were kind of sleeving. We'll get those top loaded and sent out as well. Um, Halliburton's, Obi, Obi Toppins, Cole Anthony's and whatnot, Tyrese Halliburton's. So hopefully, you know, hopefully guys like Obi Toppin will have a great season this year. So there you go. All right, gang. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching this uh, this big mosaic mega and optic retail mixer. I'll see you next time for the next basketball break. jazbeescasebreaks.com.